Hey guys, today I want to take the time out and talk about embracing stillness, especially in moments in life where there's like a pause or like moments where you feel stuck. Well, I have moments like that a lot, and I'm pretty sure that other people experience the same kind of thing. Like, it's, it's really easy to realize the moments in life where we have things going on for us or things going on for other people. <laughs> and it can feel weird kind of bad sometimes when when things aren't going on for us like will life just feel stagnant like you're not gonna away there's this quote <laughs> quote is it is it the word quote i say quote but is it quote quote <laughs> it probably is the jamaican in me as a quote <laughs> but there's this quote that say um uh, just a summary of it is that not every moment in life is for growth right not all moments in life are a growth process sometimes there's like a break and that break is just for you to express gratitude and to rest actually like to rest to introspect and that really stuck out to me especially when i think about productivity and sometimes not feeling probably never feeling like I'm doing enough that yes I can do better but yes I can also like acknowledge my blessings and how far I've come because I wasn't at this point in life or I wasn't here a couple months ago it's easier to see the bigger wins than the smaller ones and sometimes those little steps that you take to reach that bigger picture those are the steps that get overlooked but those are the steps that are actually going to like help you get there or say for example you set the goal that you're going to take out time to find your passion you know that that's the bigger picture but like what are the steps that you're actually taking to get there you know like that <laughs> another thing that i want to talk about is like finding your passion besides productivity and embracing that like what is it that you really like to do you know besides work besides school and doing that because those are the things that refuel you those are the things that you are gonna need to run back to when you feel drained and next thing that has been helping me during my time of feeling like nothing is going on in my life is setting my intention for the day so i've been practicing this for probably a week now <laughs> Every day when I wake up, I think about this. I think about what will my intention be for today? What do I want to not only get done, but how do I want to feel today? For this month, I set the intention that I want to be more creative. Yesterday, I said that I want to embrace calmness and stillness. And I think when you focus on the things you want and you call it out for a specific day or a time period in your life, and that's why you're like, manifest you can say that today i'll set the intention that i will embrace my passion today i set the in intention to embrace wellness oh this guy's stretching in the background <laughs> or you know like or how you want to feel today i set the intention that i want to feel appreciated i want to feel loved i want to feel enough in times where i felt angry with myself or angry at people i used to pray to God and I'm like God give me strength like give me hope give me resilience like I pray for those things and I'd sit around and wait for it like and I realized I'm not actually getting I'm not getting it in a way that I want it I want it like a gift but he's giving me like as an experience I pray for strength and he's giving me situations where I, mean, I have no choice I don't have a choice but to be strong you, you know I pray for peace I get situations where I have no choice I don't have a choice but to focus on the peace that I need to find you know it's like, and I didn't realize that until recently like, you get what you pray for but not in the way that you want you get what you want or you want to manifest but sometimes not in the time that you want but it all works out I used to look back and think like how do adults always have things together like they have the whole life together no one ever talks about the stress how broke you feel how hopeless how alone 
your twenties or your adulthood life. Like no one ever talked about that. So I thought that like it was all perfect, smooth sailing. I thought I had my house by now, married, you know. <laughs> but um, I think people should talk about it. Like when you hit your twenties, like you just start in your twenties, you're like you have that oh shit moment where you're like. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know if that's okay but it is okay you know because we're all just trying to figure out things it's okay not to know what to do or how to feel in those times um, you shouldn't like compare your life to someone else's because everybody has different experiences and everybody was brought up a different way and have different access to things in life so it might take you a bit longer than person B and that's okay. I feel like something else that is not talked about enough is stillness but stillness in relationships. Not friendships now you know. Well friendships too but actual relationships like not platonic. Is it platonic or platonic? Not this. Yeah. <laughs> wanting to be loved, wanting to be pursued wanting to be acknowledged to be seen to be heard to be desired wanting all of these things for probably your whole life and not getting it like you see other people with their happy endings and you're like oh that's so cute happy for you but when <laughs> and this is like no shame but like it's genuine feelings that i feel like people go through like where is my happy ending or where is my that people don't talk about it because I guess it's it's kind of brings about shame you know because you're left to think about oh is it that I'm not in good enough for this kind of thing or what does this person have that I don't have and I know that I've definitely been through stages in my life where I feel or I felt inadequate or I compare myself to other people or just not feel good in my own skin it's really easy to look at somebody else's situation and be like okay they have what I want and I don't have this because I'm not as good as this person it's really easy to sit down and like your mind just flooded all these thoughts and you're like why are they there and they keep triggering you and people keep triggering you too and it's just hard but it's, it's good to stop and identify like the lies and like the negative voice that's in your head that's telling you all these things. Chances are no one is actually saying these things to us but ourselves and we can be really mean and it's something to like, it's something that when it happens you stop and you say no man, I don't want to feel this way. And I was listening to a podcast the other day on releasing control in relationships and she was talking about her friend was always bringing up this guy that she was talking to right? and she's like oh my gosh I always attract like cheating people people always like, give me bun you know <laughs> like what's wrong with them or what's wrong and she don't know what's wrong and her friend was like like you focus a lot on infidelity and some other red flags and although it's good to look out for red flags if you focus on those things like you you place all your focus on what can go wrong you're not putting your focus on what can go right and you're not attracting that and at first i was just like when i, when I sat down and I thought about it i'm like that's actually true like i don't want to feel the anxiety that comes with possibly thinking that someone is like cheating on me or someone is going to do me wrong I want to think about how I want like how I need to feel how I desire to feel I desire to feel loved appreciated seen and cared for and you know to have those things in my life and so that's what I'm going to focus on and that's what I'm going to take from any experience that I go um like a pursue that's just about how much I'll go into that topic I feel like that's a topic for next day because I can sit here and talk about this um for the entire day things in life are just so unpredictable and there's this movie that I love I love I love I like I love cartoons 
but one of my favorite cartoons trolls i don't know if you've ever watched trolls if not you should watch it <laughs> Um, but there's a line in the song perfect for me and it goes so sometimes I get down on my knees and I pray things will change but life is what happens when things they don't work out our way gonna read that last line again but life is what happens when things they don't work out our way like facts because you can plan out something to the T and you can like plan out every step of you getting there and life just say no <laughs> focus on experiences you know not everything not every single thing in life you can plan out or you can control there's a reminder that I set on my phone <laughs> and and it goes I am no longer trying to control everything I was never in control to begin with you are no longer trying to control everything you were never in control to begin with and I think that's like that's where a higher power comes into being like that's where God or probably if, if you don't believe in God that's where life comes into play like sometimes you just need to release control and just let life do its thing and just enjoy the experiences that it brings and all the emotions even the ones that you don't want to feel and the periods in life where nothing is going on or you feel like nothing is going on that's the time that you should take to to rest and to do some introspection and just be you know at least we have moments in life where we can just be there are moments in life that that are painful and hurtful and some moments are good and some feelings are fleeting but we can just be being calm and feeling centered and being grounded should be one of your top priorities in life well that's something that i live by and i set it as a reminder on my phone because you know life is too short and i feel like with a calm mind and like a peaceful soul you're better able to handle life's unpredictable situations so thank you so much for being here thank you so much for listening to me speak and for just being present with me today and, and i hope you took something from what i said and you could like think about it and embrace your need for stillness and calmness in all periods of your life so yeah, yeah. <laughs>